And Robert O'Dean, with that being said, we have an uh, uh, interview today. Who do we have with us, my friend? We are excited to have a voice that is very distinguished, and we're blessed that he is on the Wake Up Morning Show this morning, none other than Mr. Rick Dorn. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Unmute yourself. Good morning. There we go. There we go. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Doing good. Thank you for having me. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, just for purposes of our filming, can you get a little bit closer to your camera so that... Absolutely. Amen. Because we need you to fill up the screen. They were like saying, we see something, but we don't see enough of them. It, you know what I'm saying? Right they, they'll, start, they'll start talking to me and they'll, they'll start trying to, you know, we'll get all these things. Can you ask them uh -huh. to move closer to the camera? You know, we want to see everything. And then somebody said, well, we're going to let him keep his glasses on, but we can't see his eyes. You know, you know, they, they try to get all up in your business, my friend. How are you uh, doing this morning? I'm, I'm doing good this morning. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, one of the things that I'm seeing, there's a whole bunch of guitars in the in the background, uh, tell us about all these good good guitars that you have back there. Oh man, it's it's my inspiration. You know, I'm um, trying to get better in, on playing. Uh, I love doing praise and worship, um, and so it's a, it's a, all a part of my little studio that I have at home. Amen. That's where amen. I record everything at. Amen. So let's just get right down to it. You know, everybody want to know. Uh, uh, who is Rick Dorn? Do they call you Pretty Ricky? You know, they just kind of just want to know who is Rick Dorn and 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 what is he all about? Who is Mama Den? Where he from? They want to know all of that. Wow, I, I'm just a brother that was I was raised in the country, was raised in Arkansas. Um, love the Lord. I have a passion for worship, and a passion for the message. And, and and the hope of Christ, and it's it's no ifs and or buts. I, I I am a uh, Christian artist. I ain't trying to be nothing else, you know. Hey, hey, Amen. Now, now, what part of Arkansas were you born and raised? Uh, well, I was I was born in California, but I was raised in uh, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Er, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Yes, sir. That's why I attended college at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Oh, is that right? Yes, yeah, sir. UAPB. UAPB in the house. Come on, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 tell me, um, in uh, coming from uh, Arkansas by and then by way of California, you are where now? I'm I'm in uh, Rancho Cucamonga. Right now. Oh, East California. Oh, oh, so, yeah. so, so you 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 part of the upper echelon. Of California, <laughs> he and Rancho Cucamonga. Cucamonga, yeah. yeah. From Arkansas to Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, where where do you fellowship at, my friend? I uh, a fellowship at Abundant Living Fellowship in, uh, in 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 California. Okay, okay. So let me ask you this question: Pine Bluff, Arkansas to California. Uh, do you miss it? Actually, I do. People are just uh, different levels. Um, you go down the street and everybody just wave at you, and it's. It, I, I I miss that home time feel. Be honest with you, yeah, I do. Okay, I I thought you were gonna like saying especially the food. I sure do miss the food. That too. Yes, that, yes. Yes, sir. So so Robert, go ahead. So what would be the plus of living in California as compared to Pine Bluff? It's just so many things to do. There you go. Out of a comparison, it's it's really nothing out there to do, and I wanted to come out to California to for my dreams in in, in music. Yes. You know? So yeah, that's why I really came out here. Well, how long have you been in California? I've been here for maybe let's see about twenty something years. Yeah, about twenty, about twenty twenty five years. So. So we yeah, since you I, since you've been here this long, we gotta ask you a question. Where's your favorite taco shop at? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's around here it's tacos everywhere, bro. I mean everywhere, every corner. I'm it's it's crazy. Um 
there there's a place in Rancho that has some bomb tacos that I, I really enjoy. I can't even think of their name, but they're really bomb. Uh, Probably a Bertos. There's Humberto's, Rigoberto's, Alberto's, oh, yeah, there's, toes there's and toes and toes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then they be copying the Bertos, Bertos brothers, and stuff right. like that. They be family people. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We 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 um uh always laugh at it. if anybody said they in California. The first thing we say, okay, uh, claim your taco shop. If I said, Robert, where's your favorite taco shop, Robert? Where you El Real. Said, and where's that at? El Real on, on Imperial. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he be like every out. He he be going and and he got them he got them down that they'll make them special for him when he's traveling. Wow. Yeah. See, the food is better in L.A. For to me. I think it's just, you get better food in L.A. For real. Well, well, well you ain't been to San Diego because San Diego's known for our food. Well, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. see, Eat see, from. when you come down to Mexican food, yes. the closer you get to the border, the more authentic you get. Correct. Uh -oh. You know, so so right now, you're about three hours away from the border, so you got yeah. that three-hour authenticity. We, we 15 minutes away from the border, so we got that 15 minute authenticity. We in San Diego. <laughs> it's coming up hot. Yeah, yeah. man. man right. I, I, I tell you, I tell you, when you when you eat tacos, you can speak Spanish fluently in San right. Diego. That's how good it is and how authentic it is. Wow. Now, how did you get started in music? Were you like the typical church kid that played the drums first? How did you start in music? I got started uh, as a. Our family was singing when I was young, about eight years old is when I first started singing. And uh, we had a family and we would call it the, the Doran family. And then from there, I started singing in a quartet group uh, growing up and that was the Young Voices of Joy. And uh, from there, I went into worship and from worship uh, into my own. So, so tell us uh, what's going on uh, in your life. You know, I tell people a lot of times I listen to music and I, I hear uh, struggles, I hear battles, I hear overcome. Tell us what's going on in your life at this time. Wow. I, my life is a testimony. Okay. Uh, not a lot of people know this. I would say about six months ago, six months ago, I was diagnosed with stage four kidney failure. Oh, wow. Wow. And from that, I wrote my song, Power, the one that you, you're listening to. Mm -hmm. uh, but while on the machine, I'm seeing uh, uh, the blood come out of my body and it's cleaning my body. Yes. And I said, Lord, there's power in your blood. Literally, there's power to cleanse my blood. And and I started saying, there's healing in your blood, Lord. Yes. There's victory in your blood. Mm -hmm. And that's where I came up with the song, Power. Mm. Uh, every day, I'm still doing di uh, dialysis. And, mm -hmm. But I, I'm, I'm standing on the word of God for my, my healing. Yes, sir. And, and, and I know that I'm healed. And I'm using this as a testimony. Mm -hmm. And we're standing the power with you. and the victory of the cross. Yes. We're, we're standing with you because we here believe, too, that God is yet healing and yes. his promises are true. And all we got to do is, is all we got to do is stand on his word. I, I believe his word 100 percent. Yes. 100 percent. And that's why I want to encourage other people, no matter what state you in. Yes. God is still a healer. Yes, he is. And he still has work for you to do. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. You know, um, and, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, you know the, the the thing about you know what you're saying, and and I just want you to uh, be encouraged the, uh, this morning because as I was reading in the scripture on this morning, I'm just gonna pull it out uh, r right quick because uh, I'm hoping Thank that you, my my uh, uh, I'm trying to get it to pop up right now, but I want to read to you this one thing, this as a as a bit of encouragement. Uh, and, and, you, and you know, right? You know these digital, these digital things. Right when you need it to work the most, it get real slow. Eh? And, you know what I'm saying, Robert Earl? Yeah. But this is what it said the 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 words of Jeremiah, um, and it, it says this: "To whom the word of the Lord came in the day of Hosea the son of Amos the king of uh, Judah in the thirteenth year of his reign." 
And I'm going to yeah. fast forward to where it says in the the a fourth verse of the first chapter of Jeremiah says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before oh. thy cameth forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So I want you to know that even before you were born, God knew you. Oh, yes. And he knew that you would be in this position right now. But yes. he also said there's power yes. in his blood. And so I want you to be encouraged, and we're going to stand with you because we Where know that God knows that's you. in me. Yes. Yes, yes. No, yeah. no. That's, that's where I'll. Now, who are some of your musical influences? Because this one person comes to mind when I hear you sing. Um, you can say Stevie, mm -hmm. um, Donnie, and uh, Stokely. Uh, there's so many of uh, the, the old classic R&B kind of people, mm -hmm. you know, that I, I just, I grew up on that. The Sam Cook, the mm -hmm. Al Greens. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I just my house was was filled with that kind of Motown mm -hmm. vibe growing up. Well, I, I I don't have a beef with you this morning, my brother. But um, no beef today. Um, thank God. But I do I I do have a question. You know, just so that you know, I think inquiring minds, especially minds, want to know. You know, mm -hmm. uh, two things. One, do you have a a, a sunglasses uh, endorsement, and what type of hat are you wearing? I have no idea what kind of hat this is. Okay, uh, it's um, the wife bought it, and uh, I've been rocking with it. You know, okay. <laughs> and sunglasses just an image thing that you know. I, I thought I'd try. Hey man, <laughs> it, it's working. I, I I saw them sunglasses this morning. I said. Them nice, them nice. You know, one of the things that every time artists come on, they have their own style. And the first thing I'd be asked is, do you got an endorsement deal on that pair? Do you got this, you got that? Because, again, um, with the industry consistently changing and becoming a 360 uh, 60, uh, 60 model, yeah. um, everything about us now we have to monetize just so For that real. we can do the music at the level that God has called us mm -hmm. to do it at. Yes. I'm I'm ready to monetize it too. Amen. I know that's right. <laughs> Amen. So so tell me, um, uh, you said your wife got it. Do you have kids? Uh, uh, let, let's uh, find out a little bit about your family. Yeah. Uh, wow. I've been married for thirty something years. Uh, beautiful wife. I have uh, four kids, two boys and two girls. All oh, just love the Lord. And I'm about to become a grandfather for the first time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. Congratulations. Man, I, I, I'm about ready to tell you something. When you become a papa, yeah, it's yeah. going to change your life. I'm looking, yeah. I'm looking so forward to yeah. that. Man, man, my grandbaby, the only, the only beef that I had with my daughter is she refused to have her on the same birthday as mine. She had a oh. day, she had a day before on purpose. Wow. Cause you know, if she would have had her on the same birthday, oh yeah, my yeah. goodness. You think, you think she's spoiled now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, I, I am just, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Nothing, nothing like being a papa. You're right. Yeah. Do you ever go back home to Pine Bluff to visit? Because we, I have family in Pine Bluff, Little Rock, and Wabasika, Arkansas. Get out of here. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe going back this summer. I, I want to go back this summer. So okay. Just just know that on the news this morning, they said they got special bugs coming coming down south This because of the, all the rain and everything. Uh -oh. So, so no. yeah, man. So you I better just, wrap I'm up like a mummy. Just trying to tell you, if you're going to go back yeah. there. Mosquitoes hurt you in the summer, so I don't even know what they're going to Yeah, <laughs> man. So I just want to let you know, if you're going, you know, be aware. Wow. Be aware. Not ticks, all right? You know, they have those things down there called ticks. Yes, yes. All, all like of them. Blood sucking. Blood. Oh, yes. Yeah, all of them. And, you know, my friend who played football you know, he was down in the southern states, and he said the mosquitoes were so big that uh, they would get on you and they sting you. And they would 
they would flex their muscles and blow the blow the uh, heads off of the uh, 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 mosquitoes because you know they were getting their blood, so they pushed the blood in and blew them up. You know, I oh, said, I, I said, man, y'all crazy. That that just seemed a little bit dangerous to me. You know, but anyway, wow. tell us about a little bit more about this song that we're going to share with the crew today. Sure, power. It's it. It's really my testimony, and I'm, I'm saying victory in the blood. There's power in the blood, mm -hmm. healing in the blood. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, will, I, I tried to take it a little bit of the old school and uh, bring it with the new school. And it's, mm -hmm. it's a little conversion of uh, some of the old mixed with the new. Okay. Now, are you playing on it? Uh, yes, some of the electronic drums. But okay. Yeah. Okay. And and so far is uh has Fender get giving you an endorsement yet? No, not yet. Okay. I'm waiting on an endorsement from somebody. Come yeah, on, somebody. Yeah, come yeah, on yeah. through for him. Come have on. Have you ever been to Nam? Jesus, it shall come forth. Yeah. Have you ever been to Nam before? No, I haven't. Okay. You you gotta go to Nam. That that all the all the power brokers there that are making deals are right there at Nam. You yes. walk in. And, and what you do is you be real quiet about it. Go up to the guitar, the place that you want to play, and then pick up a one and say, oh, can I just say it? And then you got to kill them on the guitar. They'll be like, wait a minute, who, who, who are you? You know, and don't start singing. You might get a mic deal at the same time. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, wow. yes, yes. I have to do that. Yes. Well, brother, we, we are excited, Robert Earl Dean. Uh, how, can they, how can they find you? You can find me on the web. Uh, I have my own website, rickdorn.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, Facebook, Rick Dorn Music, YouTube, and any social media. I have a few songs out. Check them out. The last one I did was called It's Done, kind of Al Green vibe. Um, so check check me out. Give me a call, and I'll be happy to respond to you. Okay, now I want to deal with this last bit of rumor, and then I'm going to leave the rumor alone. It, right. Is it true that you you woo your your wife with your voice and that's how you got her attention. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> he was singing Stevie Wonder. She said, yeah. "My Sherry Amore." <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, we we are so excited to have this conversation with you. So so excited to hear your music. It is in rotation. The program director is on it right now, and she said it's in rotation on our station. Who are the other musicians on the cut, Power? She wants to know that. These are um, some friends from Philly. I had to get my guys from Philly. Um, it's they, They're kind of all over the place, but Philly, uh, my guy that played uh, keys is uh, back in Australia. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it, it's kind of all over the place. So you had a gumbo mix of musicians. Oh, for real. For man, real. Man. man, well, if you if you ever need a professional shh, you know, you hit me oh, up. Oh, Jesus. I could do it okay. in all different oh, types of Lord. tones, you know. <laughs> I, I give you. James Cleveland? Yeah, yeah, you know? I give you. Yes. The, I give you. Shh, but I'll, I could also give you a. Shh, 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 you know, I, oh. you, man, I got, I got skills in it. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to need that one. <laughs> oh, don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, introduce this song and we're going to play it for the people. Everybody, you check out my new song called Power. Right here on GOD Radio 1.com. 